When it comes to wireless microphones, the Sennheiser G3 has always been our go-to microphone of choice. Yet, despite its outstanding audio quality, one of its common complaints that we often get is how much it costs. And you know what? We totally agree. It's not cheap. This mic costs over $600. So, what happens when a company called Comica comes up with their own wireless microphone, which costs, wait for it, $189. Oh, wow. Yep, you heard right, folks. That is a whopping $400 cheaper than the Sennheiser. I mean, you can buy an Osmo Mobile with the money that you've just saved and still have enough to buy two Osmo batteries, plus an Osmo charger, and maybe a little change for ice cream. But, but, but guys, do you really think an $189 wireless mic system is any good? Well, you're about to find out. Stay tuned till the very end because we're giving away this very mic to one lucky viewer. This video is made possible by Comica, who approached us to review this microphone. However, all of the views expressed in our video are entirely our own views. And in no way, shape or form are we ever told what to do or what to say or how to test it. That's all up to us. So the Comica WM100 is a wireless microphone system designed specifically for digital cameras such as the Osmo. But it also works great with any DSLR camera that has got a microphone input jack such as the Panasonic GH5 or GH4, the Canon series, the Sony type of cameras, several camcorders. So if you're in a bit of a hurry, here's a quick rundown of the main features of this microphone system. So it uses UHF wireless technology to transmit the sound. It has a working distance of about 100 meters. It works with two AA batteries each for the transmitter and the receiver respectively. It comes with 48 channels, allowing you to hook up multiple devices that can work together. It has 16 levels of adjustable volume. You can also adjust the strength of the RF using the built-in RF strength adjuster. It's got a local audio test on the transmitter side of it. And then you can also get real-time audio status monitor on the receiver end. So this means with your headphones, you can monitor the audio that you're currently recording, which is a great feature. It has a muting mode, and then both the receiver and the transmitter both come with a high resolution lattice LCD display. So in this detailed review, we're gonna do a real quick unboxing. Then we're gonna walk through some of the main features and how to set it up for your first time use on a video camera. Next, we'll do detailed tests comparing this microphone with the Sennheiser, which is what I'm currently using to record this video. We'll then end the review with a brief summary and a conclusion. So if you wanna jump ahead to any of these parts of the video, feel free to just use the timeline referenced right over here. We got loads to cover, so let's get started. Okay, so let's open up this box and see what's inside. Okay, so the first thing you greeted with this carry case, which has got two zipped compartments. So let's start with the top compartment. So in the top compartment, we've got a user manual, a warranty card. So the first thing is the actual microphone itself with a tie clip. So it's got a 3.5 millimeter end plugs into the transmitter. Also in this compartment, you've got a wind muff. So that's gonna come in handy on those really windy days. Next up, we've got the 3.5 millimeter to 3.5 millimeter cable. So you can use this cable to connect the receiver to your camera. So we'll put that to one side. Next, you've got an alternative cable to this one. So if you want to use an XLR type connector, you can use this cable as well. The next item, you get two of these cold shoe adapters, cold or hot shoe adapters. So there's one and there's the second one. So it's got a quarter inch thread on one end and obviously a cold shoe mount on the other end. Last but not least, you get two belt clips 
So these clip onto each of the receiver and the transmitter if you require it. So, so that's pretty much everything on the top compartment. So we're gonna take a look at the bottom. So in the bottom section, you find the transmitter as well as the receiver. So this is everything that you get inside the box. So next thing we want to do is hook up the transmitter and the receiver ready for our first time use. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is we want to set up the transmitter and what we want to do is install the batteries by opening this latch, pull that out, and then you've got the positive and negative marked at the bottom here. So all you do is you just insert your batteries in the correct way, just like that. And then you simply slide that back in just like that. Next thing we want to do is to clip on the belt clip. And to do that is to line up this little hole here with the end of the clip just like that so that it inserts there. And then on the other side you want to repeat pretty much the same thing just like that. So just make sure that it clips in place and you've got your belt clip sorted. Next thing we want to do is turn on the transmitter and to do that is we long press this mute and power button just like that and then the unit turns on. Next thing we want to do is connect the line in or the microphone depending on what we want to use. We want to start off by testing out the microphone so I'm simply going to grab the microphone and obviously this is the end that needs to screw on to the mic jack which is this one here. So you simply push that in as far as it will go. And then using this inner ring, you simply tighten it. Finger tight is usually good enough. And just make sure the cable is nice and free, just like that. Okay, so the next thing you wanna do is you wanna get into the settings menu of the transmitter. And the way you do that is you've got two modes in which to use the set button. You've got a long press, and a short press. So the long press unlocks the transmitter to allow you to go on to do the next steps, which include the short press of the set button. So let's start off with the long press of the button. So the moment you do that, you see there's an unlock sign there. And whilst it's unlocked, you can then do a short press and that gives you your channel menu. The next short press gives you your RF high or low menu and then another press will bring you back to the initial menu. So let's go to the first menu and we're currently on channel one. So to change channels up, you simply press this plus button here. So let's say, so we'd be happy to stick with channel one. RF high or RF low, and you can see in the indicator there, L is for low, but I wanna keep it on RF high and then now you go back to our original and then at this stage we can now test the microphone testing one two testing one two you can see we're getting the signal coming through right now so this confirms that the transmitter and the microphone are connected correctly so we're going to put this to one side and then bring in the receiver we're going to do exactly the same thing connect up the batteries first of all so it's just a simple press here. Just like that. So with the receiver end, it's almost exactly the same thing. So the first thing you wanna do is you can, you've got the choice of hooking up either this belt clip, but in most cases, this will be hooked on a microphone. So it makes sense to use the cold shoe mount that comes standard as one of the accessories so you pretty much tighten it like that and then with your cold shoe mount this is then what you can then obviously insert on the cold or hot shoe mount of your camera so that your output cable can connect onto the camera and in our case we're using this 3.5 millimeter to 3.5 millimeter output cable so on this end 
you plug in the bit which has got the screw type end here so you screw that into place just make sure it's as tight as it will go and that's okay so if you want to monitor your audio as you're recording this is where you can plug in a set of headphones or earplugs in in this case i'm just plugging in these ear plugs so then these can be on you ready to monitor so having plugged in these two cables we're ready to turn it on so to turn it on it's just a long press of this power button right here and then we're welcomed by the screen so a long press will unlock and then a short press will first of all allow you to link up the channels so notice here we're on channel two and we're getting this green led light blinking this confirms that the transmitter and the receiver are not yet connected and the simple reason is we're on channel one on the transmitter so we need to be on channel one on the receiver as well so again we need to unlock this menu system unlocked one shot press and then we go to channel one and now notice we get a solid light here indicating that our channel is correctly selected and then the transmitter and the receiver are talking to each other the next thing once unlocked so the next short press of the set button will allow you to adjust your volume in 16 steps all the way up to 15 from 0 to 15 that's 16 stages so I'm gonna come back to round about 9 and leave it there one more press and we're back to the starting menu and then after a few seconds this should switch off and then lock the screen like that and then the LCD display will turn dark to save you battery there we go so at this stage we're ready to start using the transmitter and the receiver because they've both been linked so we're now going to do a simple short test with the transmitter which is the one i'm holding now and with this microphone here so if i tap we can see we're getting a response both on the transmitter as well as on the receiver now i'm talking into the microphone and this gives you an indication of the sort of signal we're getting from the transmitter and then this is how this signal is being received on this end so at this stage you should now be able to connect the receiver to your camera's microphone input jack but because i'm currently using my camera to record this very video what i want to do is i want to bring in this zoom recorder which works you know to record audio obviously so now with this recorder the way it works is this input here is a microphone input so when i take the microphone input from our receiver simply plug that in there and now the signal we're getting on here is actually coming from a microphone so if i just demonstrate to you one two one two testing one two so I'm now able to record on here and this is just a confirmation. Testing one, two, testing one, two, one, two, testing. I'm gonna stop that. I wanna play back just that little clip that I've just recorded. And the way I do that is just press here. Testing one, two, testing one, two, one, two, testing. So this confirms that everything is set up correctly. So at this stage, we're ready to start using the Comica WM100 to record our audio because everything is spot on. Okay, now I want to take a minute to just walk you through the testing rig that I've built here, just so you can see what's going on. So what we want to do is to compare the Comica WM100 to the Sennheiser G3, like for like. We want to see basically it's a showdown. So the way we want to do this is, first of all, let's switch on all of the receivers and transmitters and then finally this one okay so i've got the two microphones the comica mic and the sennheiser mic they're the same distance from this iphone 7 plus now the next thing we want to do is just make sure that both inputs 
So input 1 is coming in from the Sennheiser receiver and input 2 is coming in from the Comica receiver. So I want to make sure that both are on, 1 and 2. So what we want to do is we want to play a tone that's a very high pitched tone so as I said it's the same distance you may want to turn your volume down now and all I want to do is I want to equalize these two gain settings here so that they are giving the same kind of output So these two wireless microphone systems have now been set to exactly the same gain. The next thing I want to do is obviously just hook up the both transmitters to myself and then have the two respective microphones equidistant from my mouth and that's how I'm going to do the rest of the tests. Okay, so we're all set. I'm going to press record here. So we're recording here. That's great. Testing one, two, one, two, testing, testing one, two. We're getting great signals. So I'm going to press. Record here as well. This is on. I've got at least almost full bars here on battery. Same story here. So all ready and all systems recording just double check there we go okay so I've got the system pretty much set up so you know all the recording is going straight into this zoom h5 right here so I'm gonna be alternating over going in that distance is a path that I'm just gonna walk by and record as we go so let's do this so I'm currently on step zero so now I'm gonna get my sound clap there we go. That's all I need to sync all these audio sources together. So, so just to explain what's happening, I'm using the GH4 to record myself and it's also capturing the audio which I'm going to use to sync up the audio being recorded right here on the Zoom H5. The Zoom H5 has two inputs which are balanced to exactly the same gain. So the Comica and the Sun has a GW. Okay, so right now I'm about 10 meters away, you know, and, um, or 10 steps away. How does it sound? I'm simply going to count to five and then back to one to get our comparison for the sound. So one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. So now I'm about 20 meters away. How does it sound? You tell me. How does it sound? You tell me. So we're 20 meters now. This is about 30 meters. How does it sound to you? One, two, three, four, five. Five, four, three, two, one. This is 40 meters. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That was 40 meters. Let's just say this bench is 50 meters just because I want to sit down, relax, put my Osmo on selfie mode and shoot so this is about 50 meters but we still got a while to go to get to 100 meters so i'm gonna go to maybe 75 meters what i think is 75 meters and see where that takes us at the same time i'm using this to see if there's anybody who's gonna nick my camera one two three four this i reckon is about 75 meters can you still hear me can you still hear me I wonder. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Now let's go for the full 100. This, I believe, is 100 meters. Okay, this is right bang in the middle of our testing strip. If you remember the videos we do here, Z axis, we did it right here, and a couple of other videos right in the middle of our testing strip. This is how far I am right now. I don't know if you can make out where the camera is, but I'll try and indicate it in terms of height. I have no idea whether this audio is being recorded still or not, but I reckon I'm about 120 meters away now. And if I keep going, at this point, 
Oh. So I'm gonna go back, this is about 40 meters, and let's just hope most of this has been recorded. And if I keep going, at this point, I can't see my camera anymore. So I'm gonna go back, this is about 140 meters, and let's just hope most of this has been recorded. Uh, it's, I'm, I'm basically doing microphone tests. Oh, yeah, so I've got these two wireless microphones and checking how far I can go Without, yeah. whilst it's still recording. I see, Just yeah. checking one against the other for my YouTube channel. What is it? My, my channel? Yeah. Osmo Tips. Osmo Tips? Yeah. All right, I'll look it up. Check it out, man. Oh, yeah. Your dog will be in it. Let's, let's, what's his name? Uh, Theo. Theo! You're going to be on YouTube, Theo! <laughs> it's, it, is a, it is a male, right? Yes. Okay, yeah. You're gonna be a star, Theo. Cheers. <laughs> Take care, man. I just hope we're still recording. And it looks like 100% we are recording. Fantastic. Now the last check is on here. Fantastic. So yeah, that's, um, that's the end of the test right here. It has really been a uh, quite interesting test, quite challenging in these hot conditions, but I hope We've captured everything we want. So I'm going to stop everything now. Okay, so now it's time for me to give you my no holds barred summary and conclusion for this Comica CVM WM100. And of course, the audio you're hearing right now is coming from that very mic itself. So when you use a microphone, you obviously appreciate the value that great audio brings to your production. I think it was George Lucas who said audio is half the story. And particularly when it comes to the Osmo, we know that the Osmo the original Osmo doesn't come with great audio, so you definitely need to hook up an external microphone. And if it's a wireless microphone, that even frees you up. So the way we test microphones is really simple. We look at four areas. The first one is the quality of the output. How good an audio are we getting? The second thing we look at is ease of setup. The third thing we look at is the ease of operation, the ease of using the microphone itself. And then the last thing we look at is the cost factor. How much are you paying for this microphone compared to the value that it's bringing to your production? So that's pretty much how we've been doing all our reviews. But first things first, let me walk you through the things that I really loved about this microphone. The first one is the impressive sound quality that you get at such a price point. So it may not be as pristine as the Sennheiser, which costs, as we know, $400 more, but this quality of audio is more than acceptable for most uses, whether it's for YouTube, for vlogging, or even for professional use. The second thing I liked is how easy it is to set up and operate, and the fact that it's very versatile to mount, and you can do this using either a belt clip or the quarter inch tripod mount on the base of each transmitter and the receiver. The third thing I liked is the line-in option is a great option for when you want to use line level equipment, such as an input from a mixer. The headphone monitoring option is one of the great features I really loved. This allows you to monitor the audio in real time. This is especially true for cameras like the Osmo that don't have a headphone jack for you to monitor the audio. This carry case is really handy and practical and, you know, for the most part, will definitely protect your transmitter and your receiver or when you're traveling or, you know, you just want to store it away. So it's really a handy little thing to have. Number six thing that we liked is the fact that pairing is really easy. To pair the receiver and the transmitter is really simple. All you have to do is select the same channel on the transmitter and the receiver. The battery life is incredible. So for almost two solid days, I was using this microphone pretty much the whole day, you know, just testing it out and so on. And only on the third day did it drop from three bars to two bars. So it looks like it saves a lot of battery, especially if you are using the low RF option when you are quite near the receiver. The range of use is incredible. I think you saw in the test that I went well beyond 140 meters and who knows how further I could have gone if it wasn't for the fact that I couldn't see my camera by the time I got to 140 meters. So that was pretty impressive. By comparison, the Sennheiser, which cost, let me remind you, $400 more, started choking at around about 75 meters. So you got to give props up for this particular mic in terms of the range, the distance you can use this but above all of these great features, which I really like, the number one thing that I absolutely love about this camera is the price. I mean, come on, it's $189 compared to $600 for the Sennheiser. And for that, you're getting an incredible kit 
that you can use in so many versatile ways pretty reliably most of the time and the quality as i said is really good i haven't even bothered to post process any of this audio it's just straight as recorded so of course there are things that i didn't like as well the first thing has got to be the build um quality i mean this thing is made of plastic but having said that it doesn't feel cheap you know it's good it's a good plastic quality but you know it's still made of plastic as opposed to the sennheiser which is you know made predominantly of metal and you know even if, if you drop it this thing will still carry on working if size matters to you then yes both the transmitter and the receiver are more bulky when compared to the sennheiser so this can be a negative you know if space is an issue for you or if the size of this receiver and transmitter is an issue for you number three the clarity and the crispness of the audio may not be as pristine as i mentioned as pristine as the sennheiser one so that can be a negative if you really are after that pristine sounding audio quality but you know my verdict on this already i can definitely use this for most of my professional or youtube users the fourth one and this one i've had quite a lot of correspondence to and fro with comica the guys who are behind this microphone and this is to do with the headphone socket which is on the receiver and the only grime i have about this is the fact that it currently only works with headphone jacks which are the trs variety and not the trrs which is the common type you find in most headphones and earphones nowadays you know but the good news is the manufacturer has acknowledged this and they said for their next batch they would be introducing a headphone socket which is compatible for both the trs and the trrs in the meantime you may need to use just a simple adapter so other than that really really great microphone so let's put some scores on the board ease of setup straight five out of five nothing to do there Ease of use, another five out of five. Very quick to mount, very easy to get going. Moment you switch it on, you're ready to record. Sound quality, I'm giving it an eight out of 10. Cost factor, you guessed it, straight five out of five. So this gives us a total of 23 out of 25. Pretty impressive score. So the all important question, would Osmo Tips recommend this very microphone, the WM100 for use with either your Osmo, your camcorder, smartphone, whatever you wanna record audio on, the answer is a definite yes. I would have no qualms whatsoever to recommend this microphone, especially because of the price point that it's coming in at. So if budget is a constraint for you, this is one microphone to consider starting off with. Now for some great competition information. We're giving away one WM100 wireless microphone set to one lucky viewer. All you have to do is follow Osmo Tips on Twitter and our Twitter handle is at Osmo Tips, so really simple. Then all you have to do is share this video review on Twitter with your followers, especially if you know somebody who might be interested in such a budget wireless microphone. And please, please remember to mention us in the tweet by including at Osmo Tips in your message so that we can track and hopefully reward you as the winner of this very microphone. If that's too much of a bother, just simply copy and paste the Twitter message we've got in the video description and paste it as your own tweet. Winners will be announced at the end of August. And one more thing, if we can match your tweet to a comment you leave on this very video, we double your chances of winning this. So you can tweet and then comment. That doubles your chances of winning this WM100. Great. So. So don't forget to use the Amazon links in the description down below. If you want to purchase the WM100 from either the UK or the US Amazon, just follow the respective link and you can have your WM100 in no time. It's a great microphone. So there's only just one thing to say, and that is to say thank you so much for sticking around. This has been a long review. This has been a long video, but I do hope you appreciate the fact that we really had to take it to this level because Audio is a great part of telling a story. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button and don't forget to ring the bell because that's the only way you're going to get notified each and every time we release a new episode. So 
Take great care, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Despacito. Despacito.